You see, the art is, it's a passion. The soul seeks to create. Without art, life is simply impossible. An existence, simply following the steps would be the end of my freedom. The end of my dreams and ambitions. I must, yes, I must transform the base into the extraordinary. Without the drive to inspire, I will wither. And yet, without a paycheck, hmm, this is a dilemma, my friends. I know I can get paid for weddings. Maybe I should just do that. What do you think? gigs, I've done opening nights at an opera, I've done film festival. It's respectable work and it makes people happy. One of the photographers I admire most, well two actually, are the couple who photographed my wedding night. They were so professional, their equipment was on point, they had a drone even. They brought a joy to the evening and literally gave me memories from an incredible night. They've been doing the circuit for years and seem to really enjoy the interactions with the bride and groom and the guests. There are more than 2 million weddings in a typical year in the United States. The average amount a couple will spend on their photographer is somewhere around $2,500. That's an insane amount of money. Some of which could certainly be going into my pockets. Not to mention all the birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, the VIP events, conferences, and so many events I could be monetizing. I have the skills and there are great websites like Wedding Pro, Wedding Wire, The Pros, Upwork, and I have very little doubt that with some effort I could make a go at it. Why would I not? What's the downside? I want to first make clear that I have nothing but respect for event photographers. There is so much more that goes into it than just snapping a few photos. There is a style and attitude that sets people instantly at ease and makes them comfortable showing themselves in the photos. And they have to be on point at all times because miss a big moment, Bridezilla might come down on you hard. And of course, the work doesn't end when the event is over. You may end up spending 30 minutes editing each photo. It's a grind, it takes real commitment to do it well. And now I see you saying, oh I see, you're just lazy. Good guess, but no. Is it the demanding clientele? The mother-in-law, who just refuses to admit that she does not. In fact, that side. The groomsman who thinks his drunken winks are just irresistible. No, it's not that either. That easily balances out by the father who tears up when he sees the photos of his darling daughter on her big day. The bridesmaid who quite literally squeals when you see how you captured her smile. All the challenges of dealing with crowds, of directing people who aren't used to being photographed, balance out against the love and magic of hundred moments. So it's not that either. Maybe there's just nothing wrong with being an event photographer. Maybe it's something about art photography that drags me toward it, rather than being repelled by weddings. So what is it? Let me describe to you one of my first experiences with light painting that might give you an idea. This happened in Istanbul with my husband and a great friend of mine. I had just recently discovered that light painting existed, so I didn't have a lot of gear. We went out for a dinner, walked the neighborhood that we love, we love looking for inspiration, and then had ice cream. As we were walking past a dark parking lot construction site, we noticed some graffitis on the wall. For the next couple hours, we took something like 40 photos. We only had some glow sticks 
a cigarette lighter and a basic flashlight. So we, we would take a shot and then I would direct the guys to do this or that a little longer, um, you know, go faster over here or hold your hand a bit lower here. Then the moment came. That last photo processed and popped up onto my screen. Let me tell you, the feeling of accomplishment was unreal. We actually jumped up and down. We turned a lifeless piece of graffiti into something that jumped off the screen with a basic camera and whatever lights we could come up with. We had created a piece of art. I was hooked on that wow effect and that was my thing. Something about the process of creation excites me as much as the creation itself. With event photography, you're recording, you're responding. Of course, with talent, you can record events in a way that's more beautiful than anyone else. But you did not create the moments, and I want to create the moments. It's the outlet I need, it's the transformation. Something about event photography feels a bit too mechanical for me. I feel like at some point the days would start to blend together. I know that art photography is hard and it takes years to make a name, to get shown, to build the kind of brand value that makes it possible to make a living. I'm just afraid that if I pick the short-term approach and make money however I can, I'll get stuck and be doing the same thing for 20 years. So that feels like some kind of a lesson to me and, and I'll take that. So friends and neighbors, I do hope you can learn a lesson with me too. If you're lucky enough to find something that make you say, wow, something that make you feel like you just lifted up the world and shook it. Do that again and again and again. Do me a favor and shout out your passion in the comments. Now, I know I probably sound a bit childish and many of you will say something like, while don't pay the bills. But I just can't avoid the thought that I only get to do this life once and I have to do everything I can to make sure I have no regrets. In a word? Big love to everyone for your attention. I can't wait to see you next week. It's been rather cold in Reno, but I'm going to do my best to get out there and do another photo shoot with you. Hold on to those dreams. Have a bright and focused week.